Hey everyone. So um, I just want to share with you a word from the Lord that he gave me last night and also a dream that I had. They go hand in hand um, with the message from the Lord. So uh, before I get into that, I just want to um, throw out there that if anybody has any prayer requests that they would like me to lift up for them, um, please feel free to reach out to me, put it in my comments. I would love to pray for you guys. Um, I am blessed that right now I get to stay at home with my two little ones. So I have the time to just really be a prayer war warrior and lift you guys up in prayer. So please feel free to reach out, um, leave it in my comments, or if you'd like to private message me, go ahead and let me know in my comments. I'll, I'll let you know a way to do that as well. Um, so last night, I'm spending time with the Lord in prayer and in worship, and um, I start to doze off, and I feel a nudge on my right arm, and it startled me and woke me back up as I was starting to doze off. So I'm in prayer again, and... Um, you know, a few minutes later, again, guys, it's really late, and I don't, I don't stay up that late. Uh, I start to doze off again, and again, I feel it, but I, this time I feel like a zap, like an electric zap on my right hand, and I'm like, okay. I wake back up from dozing off. Again, I start to pray, and I'm like, okay, Lord, like, you want me to continue praying? You want me to stay awake in prayer? I start praying for whatever comes into my mind. Whatever the Lord puts on my heart and puts on my mind is what I'm lifting up in prayer. So I um, start praying again, and I hear the Lord say, Go get a pen. I'm about to speak to you, and I have your answers. So I go get my prayer journal and a pen, and... Um, before I tell you the words that he gave me, I'm going to share with you guys a dream that I had on July 14th, um, not too long ago. So the dream was myself and a group of um, women were in a holding area. We were, or like a, like a holding room. And um, we were supposed to be getting ready for a wedding. Um, the women, we had robes on, uh, the girls had like curlers in their hair, um, but nobody was dressed, nobody was, was finished getting ready. Uh, like they started to get ready and then they stopped and just kind of started chatting amongst themselves, hanging out, um, and nobody was ready. So a lady, a woman walks in to, uh, the room and says, what are you guys doing? The wedding is about to start and nobody is ready. Um, at that moment, everybody starts like scurrying and um, some people, some of the girls run out of the room, others start to grab their stuff and start to pick it up and get ready. Uh, then she walks over to me and she hands me a dress and she goes, here, it is time put your dress on. I look down at the dress and it is the wedding gown, the bridal gown. I realize I am the bride. Okay. Um, so then really quick, the dream uh, flashes down to another scene and I'm now in this like courtyard area and really beautiful courtyard area and I sensed and thought, well, maybe this is where the wedding's supposed to take place, only there was nobody there and uh, nothing set up for a wedding. There was rose bushes and a gardener trimming and pruning the rose bushes, and I asked, what's going on? Within the dream, I then have a vision of a map of the United States. Guys, this is like the third time I'm shown a map of the state. Uh, last time it was Florida. I touched over that in my last video. This time there's an X uh, where the state of Indiana and Kentucky's border is. Uh, there's an X right there. 
and then in the vision I see it split. I see that area in regions split um, and they're no longer bordering one another. The land there is now divided. And that was the end of the dream, the end of the vision. I wake up. So I prayed on this. Immediately I got interpretation of the first part of the dream. Uh, the bridal party resembled and represented um, the sleeping Christians. Those who are saved, they believe in God and Jesus. They know, um, you know, that he is coming back, that there is going to be a wedding. However, they got um, content or complacent, and they stopped getting ready. Um, they were half ready. They were not fully ready, and they were also not aware that the wedding was about to start. If they were aware, um, that the wedding was going to start, if they knew that that lady was about to walk in at any moment and say it's go time, I believe that they would have been ready. However, they were not aware, they were not ready. Um, and so that's the moment where everybody just kind of scattered and scurried to hurry up and get ready. Um, we are the bride of Christ. And so I believe me being handed the wedding gown was represented as you are the bride of Christ. It's time, put your bridal gown on. The wedding is about to start. So um, now I had to pray a little bit more on the second part, that vision of the state map. And um, after prayer and um, sharing with another couple of sisters in Christ, what I got from that was um, land divided. Um, so the land, you know, they were once bordering each other and they are now divided. So I believe that that's a parallel to the times that we're in right now. Um, so back in the day, uh, Indiana was a, um, a revolutionary state and Kentucky was still a Confederate state. So it symbolizes the division that was in the country then and also the division that is still there now. And I believe it also represents the church. There is still division in the church um, today. So I believe that it was well, like an answer almost when I asked the gardener, like what's going on? Um, the wedding, you know, I thought was going to take place here. Um, I was shown that vision, like, you know, when Jesus comes back for his bride, he wants us to be spotless. Uh, he does not want his bride divided. And right now, the church, the country, we're just, we're divided. Um, everybody can see that. So I believe, like, that's what he was showing me division and that you know the time is approaching it's about to start um, but there's still some some division that is taking place right now that he does not want he wants his bride and the body of christ to be in one accord guys um he does not want division and he doesn't want it in our country either that's why he's calling us to repentance so um, last night when I'm in prayer and I'm dozing off and then I get this like jolt and this zap to wake me back up um, and continue on in prayer, I grab a pen and um, the word that I got from the Lord and I prayed before I wrote this that these would be um, words of the Holy Spirit just flowing through me, using me as a vessel. And these are the exact words. I'm going to read it word for word what I wrote. Um, and before I wrote this, one of the things I covered in that time of prayer with uh, my father was uh, revelation and complete uh, just download and interpretation on that last dream that I had. So um, I believe this, what he spoke to me, was uh, the final answer to that. So I quote myself. Another shifting is taking place. Another wave is coming. This is the calm before the storm. Our last 
grace period, the time of rest between the contractions. When they start again, they won't let up. A shaking will be coming, a time of testing. Idols will come down in order to bring those in slumber to their knees, to repentance. Holy Spirit goosebumps, guys. Uh, awaken now, sleepy virgins and bride. Get ready. Sound the alarm. Fill your lamps with oil and keep them lit because darkness is coming. It is at hand, but so is your groom. Amen. Hallelujah. But so is our groom. Darkness is coming, but so is our groom. He is at the door and wants to see who is awake and ready to receive him. Prepare now. Get your house in order now. Repent. Take heed. It is time. It is time for the tares to be separated from the wheat. Consecrate yourself. And that was it. That was, I wrote that at 12.16 in the morning. Uh, well, not last night, technically this morning, yeah. I want to repeat a sentence that I wrote about like four sentences in. A shaking will be coming. A time of testing. Okay, so I finished writing this and once again, um, I get to bed. And I, before I finally fall asleep, I say, okay, Lord, um, will you please just confirm to me that this was your words, not mine? Give me a confirmation. Um, because this is pretty heavy. I mean, it's exciting for the believer because we know that our redemption draws nigh. Um, we know that whatever testing is going to be done, um, guys, it's because the Lord loves us. He wants his bride to be awake and ready so whatever is coming whatever um, we might have to endure before he finally comes back to take his bride back with him um, it's it's to get those who are in slumber awake it's a good thing um, so don't fear guys I, I pray that you don't get fear from this message it's a warning message it's to wake up you know those who are dozing off like myself wake up he's calling us to wake up um, so a shaking will be coming, a time of testing. So I prayed that and I went to sleep. At 1.16 in the morning, my um, phone alert went off. Uh, I have an earthquake tracking app. I used to live in Southern California, guys. We are known for uh, notorious for earthquakes. So I still have that app on my phone. Anything above a 6.0 alerts me. So at 1.16 in the morning, a 7.8 earthquake hit Alaska and um, caused a tsunami warning to go off. Big, big earthquake. That's a big, huge magnitude, guys. Um, so the alert went off on my phone, and I see it this morning. Blown away. Confirmation, guys. It, he, the Lord told me an hour prior to that earthquake hitting a shaking will be coming, um, and and he's giving us time to prepare now. Get your house in order. Repent. So, um, if you are watching this and you are awake, you are aware, you are ready, you are staying pressed into the Lord, you are close to the Lord. And then my message for you, which it's it's um, to myself as well, because I've been awake for a few months now. Uh, the Lord has been speaking to me, giving me confirmations. Um, I have not been loud enough. Um, I could be louder. The Lord was telling me, you need to be louder. Um, I need to do more to get the word out there. And people may think you're crazy. People may mock you and scoff you. Uh, Peter warned us that that would happen. You could call that in itself an end time prophecy. Uh, but we need to be louder, guys, because... One, if one person can just heed the warning and, um, and listen, amen, hallelujah. If we can win any souls over to the Lord, that is our, our job in the kingdom. Um, so amen for that. If not, 
then we need to be putting the word out there because when those who are asleep see the shaking coming, when it happens, when it approaches, they're going to remember, they're going to hear and remember the warning that you gave um, and they're going to be looking for answers. And we want them to not look to the world for answers. We want them to be looking to Jesus. So um, preparing yourself for when um, that harvest starts coming in and we've got to, um, you know, disciple and, and build up our brothers and sisters in Christ who are going to be shaken. They're going to be scared. Um, so they're going to need encouragement. Uh, they're going to need guidance, um, so we've got to point them to the Lord uh, so that they don't fear. Because those who are going to be caught off guard are going to be startled. I mean, I was startled when I felt that jolt and that zap. Uh, everybody who was in my dream who wasn't ready was startled when the woman walked in and was like, What are you doing? Nobody's ready. The wedding is about to start. They are going to be startled. So um, we need to be there preparing ourselves to, to come alongside of them and help them and guide them to the word, to the truth of God, uh, and to prepare them for what's coming. Because um, once the contractions start again, guys, they're not going to let up. We've been going through the birth pains, and, um, you know, just like contractions, they come, and then you get a little grace period, and then a time of rest, and then they start again. Um, so the next wave, the next set of contractions are coming, and this time they're not going to stop. So um, I pray that you would just take this to the Lord yourself um, and just ask him to confirm this with you, to speak this to you, and to give you, um, you know, clarity and confirmation uh, himself. So... Uh, that's it. Uh, I don't want this video to get too long because I tend to ramble on. But love you guys. I'll be talking to you soon.